a particular people of Africa, were remarkable for constructing gigantic pyramids which served different purposes. The people and known today as ancient Egyptians. The name Egypt was given by Europeans. The original name the people gave their land was Afaraka. Afaraka. The name Afaraka interprets as body of the sun god. Afar in the ancient language means God or Supreme Spirit. Ra means shine or shining. The word Ka means body. Altogether, the name Afaraka means God's shining body or body of the shining God. The shining God is attributed to the sun god, whom the ancient Egyptians regarded higher than other spirits. They had the knowledge of the existence of both the physical and the spiritual worlds. They understood that the sun god was the ruler of the physical world. Throughout the continent of Africa, there is only one kingdom that exhibits the cultures of the ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians were known for their regular practice of libation. Regular practice of circumcision, regular practice of initiation, regular worship of a trinity, God of Sun, Goddess of the Waters, and Goddess of the Earth. They were known for their regular reverence of ancestral spirits in the each year. Regular farming, hunting, and fishing. They were known for their regular devotion to no other for the Almighty Son God. The name Arachuku is a deviation from the name Arochuku. Arochuku means body of the Son God. The present day our people are the direct descendants of the African philosophers, the wise ancient Egyptians who civilized the world. Indeed, Arobo Beke Mbo. So many people 
uh, confused over the striking cultural similarities between the Arrows and the present-day Middle Easterners, especially the Israelites. When ancient Egyptians were ruling the world, there was no land called Israel because the land known today as Israel was a part of Lower Egypt. Ancient Egypt had two divisions. Modern historians differentiate them with the terms Upper and Lower. Upper Egypt shared boundary with Ethiopia, while Lower Egypt extended into the Middle East, covering the lands of Israel and the Arabians. The two divisions of Egypt were one kingdom ruled by one king. His kingdom was located at the upper division. The lower division was a religious center where the Ark of Covenant, which the Almighty God had with his children, was kept. The Ark of Covenant was minded by priests who were called the Nubis. Ancient Egyptians were the first to build an organized society or kingdom. The Greeks were the first set of Europeans to receive mind-renewing education in ancient Egypt. Over time, Europeans coveted the fertile land and rich cultures of the Egyptians. They carried out series of violent attack on black people living in Middle East. Black people were constantly killed. A lot of civilizations were destroyed in Middle East. Blacks retracted from Middle East. Europeans took a lot of blacks into captivity and occupied their land. That was when and how Middle East was cut out of Africa. That was how a new race was formed in Middle East from non-Caucasians to Caucasians. The Israelites were a part of that large community of black people who suffered death losses in the hands of Europeans and were eventually carried away into captivity which lasted for centuries. The Nubis, who were in possession of the Ark of Covenant, escaped with it into present-day Egypt. Not long, Europeans launched attack on North Africa in the same manner as they did in Middle East. The Nubis once again escaped with the Ark of Covenant and sojourned in Ethiopia. They left Ethiopia due to its nearness to Egypt and migrated towards West Africa. In Nigeria, the first sojourned in present-day Benue state. From Benue, they migrated to present-day Cross River and settled in Ekoi. When a call for war was made, the Nubis answered and took along the Holy Ark of Covenant. The war ended in favor of the Nubis. And the Holy Ark of Covenant was put down on the holy hill known today as Uguakuma. A number of Israeli historians and archaeologists have traced their ancestry to Arichuku. Indeed, the Jews are a part of the larger family of the Nubis, the holy children of God. Omochuku.